So hi guys, this is Ranjit and as you can see Gaurav is here with me and uh, quite a few of you have been actually asking me to make uh, videos on processors and I have made on uh, various but never on Samsung Exynos ones. And actually it's high on demand I think. Yeah, yeah and there are flagship devices uh, that for example S9 Plus, Note 9 have the new Exynos processor. So let's uh, talk about the Exynos and guys I know quite a few of you asked uh, to post it on Hindi also. So Gaurav, let's do one thing, the English video will post it here on my channel and the Hindi one Let's post it on your channel. Damn, so let's unbox the Samsung Exynos. What's Processors. the What's the latest model number? Uh, Exynos 9810. That's used on the Note 9 and yeah. even the H9 Plus. Yeah, yeah, H9 and H9 Plus. And as we know guys, that's based on the 10 nanometer processor and it's an octa-core processor. Octa-core, yeah. And uh, Gaurav, it's based on the second uh, fabrication process, uh, not the first uh, generation 10 nanometer. Yeah. So that's why it's very efficient. Yeah, and it's based on 3D FinFET design. Yeah. And it has got the big little architecture because like there are four cores four for cores, Four powerful, four powerful. For uh, normal cores, for like power efficient stuff kind of power thing. efficiency, and and yeah, it's like a flag. It's a flagship processor, yeah, of course. And one more thing that not many people uh, recognize is generally these Exynos processors are very power efficient. No, no, I have uh, used Samsung devices with some other processors, but with the Exynos, it's always like talking about standby times. Yeah, it's idle better. idle drain is yeah. very low. That's why like uh, yeah, many people complain, but I have used both, and uh, and uh, I think it is because first it is like let's say 10 nanometer design. Obviously. Second is because it's their custom design. Yeah, they control everything. That's yeah. the thing. And Samsung uh, fabrication, it's indirectly done by their own so, fabrication. So in Exynos 9810, the four high-powered cores uh, run at 2.9 gigahertz. Yeah. The four low-powered cores run uh, at up to 1.9 gigahertz. That we call the power-efficient cores. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So it's big, little architecture, like big cores for big tasks and little cores for small tasks. So yeah, that's the process. Of, let's talk about uh, GPU. Yeah. GPU, it is coming with the Mali G72 uh, MP18 GPU. Yeah. And it is like great in terms of raw, uh, GPU, raw performance. GPU performance and like GPU is mainly used for gaming and stuff but sometimes because GPU is like having more power compared to the CPU sometimes it is used even for the normal tasks. Yeah, yeah like that, that, that it, it aids that. Yeah. The GPU so has like, become very important these Normally days. we see GPU is... Uh, Only like, game we talk yeah, about. But yeah. behind the scenes sometimes uh, like you know it uses uh, for the like normal tasks yeah, as well. Yeah. Yeah. And again not many people realize even the uh, new Exynos does have AI capabilities. Yeah. So AI in terms of scene recognition, in terms of camera, yeah, the camera depth that sensing and stuff. All those things. So AI for example, food is there or scenery or people or whatever. It, so it helps actually yeah. in background. Samsung doesn't advertise that a lot but it is there in their yeah. processor. Yeah. And also again another very important thing about a processor is the ISP. That's known as the sure. image signaling processor. We talk about camera we specifications. Only about processor, yeah. clock speed and everything. I think so many people forget about the ISP which yeah. is very very important. See if you have a camera with let's say all the best specifications but if you don't process the image right the output will never be right that's the main yeah. important thing because and that's the difference you see between different vendors the image yeah. processing is very important and that is also handled by the chip yeah and it is coming with the dual isp dual isp and this uh, specifically these uh, new exynos one aid in uh, auto focusing pdaf uh -huh. even white balance which is very important. white balance noise reduction like, hdr what yeah. we talk about and even the this one i believe uh, does whdr that is wide uh, dynamic yeah, wide wide hdr so all those things like, okay, you might have a good camera, but if the processing you do, it even enhances the picture. And again, if you have used the S9 or a Note 9, you take a photograph, it's just captured instantly. And within that no delay, no within, delay. Within that instant, it, <laughs> it's does, doing a lot of stuff. It, it does at least a billion operations on that photo. So that's what that we say the pictures on Samsung come out good. It is again uh, due to this processor and, it, and the ISP. Actually. Yeah, and it supports up to uh, four cameras. So two on the rear, let's say, and two on the front. The front camera and yeah. the iris uh, scanning yeah, yeah, system. Yeah. yeah. So all those things. All together. those things. So ISP is also again, again, a top notch on that. And apart from that, uh, Gaurav, I believe, uh, yeah, let's talk about the modems that that's used. That's the LTE modem. We are walking towards 5G now. <laughs> but even the regular modem that they have, I believe it's uh, does carrier aggregation again. Yeah. Uh, and for the download it does yes. six way six, six, six CA for download and two CA for upload that means download up to theoretically uh, 1.2 gigabits download yeah. and uploads 200 Two. if your provider supports that of course of course <laughs> no but like even Exynos has uh, one more modem that's Exynos uh, 5100 that's a standalone modem okay but it is capable of doing 5G and not just 5G at the same time it supports 2G 3G 4G as well so that's a new one yeah 
that's the new one. And, and, and it supports download speeds up to 6 Gbps. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so again, yeah. uh, to sum it up again, uh, people keep asking, yeah, this uh, Exynos processor, that is the latest one. Uh, it does offer us a uh, quite a bit. Uh, yeah. And again, uh, again, uh, if you have used a device like the S9 Plus or the Note 9, we have this uh, new Exynos. No, the processor. power efficiency is amazing. The raw performance is amazing. I, I would say I would really stress on the power efficiency because I have used uh, various flagships mm -hmm. and uh, the Exynos uh, Note 9 variant that is sold in India that comes with the Exynos. I think so the power efficiency because of that it does get quite a bit, uh, little yeah. bit more battery life compared to other no, devices. Even I, like, I made a video around two weeks back around uh, which is the most important component in a smartphone. Obviously the SOC. So, processor. Yeah. SOC that we call. Yeah. The, like it, it like includes everything like maybe you talk about the display it supports the resolution. So Obviously yeah. 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 Whatever quad HD Talking or whatever your processor camera, has to support it. Camera, battery, normal UI, normal experience. It's the heart of the phone. Exactly. Heart or brain or whatever. Ah, yeah, heart in the brain, you could say. <laughs> so yeah, guys, uh, that was a very quick uh, talk about Exynos processor. If you guys have any other questions, do post them in the YouTube comment section below. We'll be happy to uh, answer them. And again, uh, we'll also be posting a Hindi version of this on your channel. So again, guys, stay tuned. And if you guys are not subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button. Take and care, guys. he hopes to see you in his next video. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, take care. Bye-bye.